Start your habit of continuous learning today. Visit nomadphp.com. Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10 minute talks that give a high level overview or an in depth look at a small portion of a PHP related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for longtime speakers to test drive a new talk idea. If you'd like to give a 10 minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have our own Cal Evans, and he's going to talk about RFCs from the future. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Cal some feedback. Cal, take it away. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of RFCs from the Future, a ray of hope. Why a ray of hope? Because that made me giggle. Anyhow, uh, we've got three RFCs to talk about tonight that um, in some way touch on arrays. There we go. Um, first one is, uh, the first two actually deal with list, but list deals with arrays, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about allow spe specifying keys in a list, and then square bracket syntax for destructuring assignment. Don't worry, I'll explain it. And then the final one is my favorite, iterable. So let's talk about these. First of all, allow specifying keys in a list. Now, I have managed to go dang near 15 years of PHP programming without ever having used the list function. So I had to go do some research on this just to make sure I understood how it was working. But up until this point, you could do um, you know list ABC equals array, and if your array had three elements, they were assigned to the, value, the variables A, B, and C. Well, now the list can specify indexes, either, uh, either numeric or associative. Now, this is brought to us by Andrea Falls. Yay, Andrea. Um, and it was originally proposed on um, January 17th. It's in version 1.1.1, and its status is implemented. This code actually works if you um, do like I did and set up a Docker container with the beta 2 running, then you can actually run the code, uh, the sample code that I've got here. So let's look at the sample code. Well, in PHP 7.0 and below, you do it on the like you do on the left-hand side. We've got my array, and that is, we um, define it with the values three, one, and four, and then uh, we say list a b c equals my array, and that then we can echo out a b and c, and it'll be three, one, and four. Now in PHP 7.1 and beyond. It works very similar, but I can take an associative array. So my array is now an associative array with A, B, and C being equal to the values 3, 1, and 4, respectively. And I can say list element B equals variable A, element A equals variable B, element C equals variable C, and I say my array, which is my source. And now if I echo out A, B, C, I get 1, 2, 3. So I've taken and assigned specific key or used specific indexes from my array for the values that I'm specifying. Now, I told you I um, had to do a little research to make sure I understood how all of this worked. Here was one of the problems I had. Um, in 7 below, 7.0 and below, um, if I go my array equals um, a is 3, B is 1, C is 4, and I say list A, B, C, I'm going to get errors. I'm going to get notices. That's going to say um, undefined offset 0, 1, and 2, because list doesn't handle associative arrays. It's looking for elements 0, 1, and 2, if I specified three um, elements. And so um, you know, if I execute this code on the left, on the right is what I'm going to get. So it was a bit confusing for me, but now that I understand um, what it does, it's a little bit easier. Now, in um, this did work in 7 and below. I could specify my array as an associative array with A, B, and C, but then I could specify elements um, 2, 0, and 1, and I put them out of order on purpose to let you know that the order you put them into the array has no effect on it. Um, list is looking for 0, 1, and 2 if you've specified three elements. But I can say um, my array 2, 0, and 1 equals here cal um, was, and then if I echo out A, B, and C, I get Cal was here. So the order doesn't 
matter, but in seven and below, you do have to have zero, uh, the, the zero, one, and two if you want list to pick up A, B, and C in this command. Now, keys can be anything. Keys can be string in list. Keys can be strings. They can be numbers. They can be constants. They can be variables. Um, now, this code that I've got here, I've gotten two columns, but just pretend it's all one big um, uh, code, uh, one big line of code. I, the first thing I do is I define a constant called field, and I give it a value of name. Then I define a variable called this field, and I get it a value of name. Then I define my array, and my array simply has one element, name, and that element has a value of Cal Evans. Now, the first section I list just like I did before with a static name and uh, not static a, a string name and um, the and I say use the uh, use, put that in the variable dollar sign name and I use my array as the um, input and I can echo out name and that's going to give me Cal Evans now I unset name so that you know the next time we go it's fresh and then I the go at the top of the right hand column I say list field as name. And field, I've defined that using the define, con define statement. That's a constant with a value of name. And if I echo out name at that point, it's going to give me Cal Evans because um, I can use a constant to define that. And finally, the last one, the list is um, dollar sign this field into um, put that into name. And as you can see, I defined this field as name. So it's the same. All three of these do the exact same things. It just goes to show that you can use any of these to do that. Now, if you've got your Twitter client open, please do me a favor and tweet out a big thank you. Whether you're watching this live or watching this on YouTube, tweet out a big thank you to Andrea Falls. She's at not AJF on Twitter. And tell her thank you for all the work that she does on PHP. Next. Now, I had to use that one first because this one, the, the RFC actually references that one, um, although I don't, uh, we only touch on it here. But um, using the square bracket syntax for destructuring assignments. See, arrays can be defined in PHP in two different ways. You can use the old school language construct of array, and it's not a function, it is actually a language construct. Um, or you can use, as of 5.3, you can use um, the square brackets. Well, this one proposes to let us use the square bracket syntax for a list, so we can get away with list, which again is a language construct, and use the square brackets. Um, this was proposed in April by Andrea Falds and Bob Wineend, and um, its status is implemented. Again, this code is in the beta 2, and um, you can test it out. So, 7 and below on the left hand side, I've got an array, Cal was here, and I list ABC equals array, and I echo out ABC, and it'll say Cal was here. Um, actually, if you run this code right like it is from the command line, it'll slap them all together and say Cal was here. Then in 7, 1, I can say array, Cal was here, but notice the next line is square bracket ABC. I'm not saying list ABC, just square bracket ABC equals array, and that's going to work, and I can echo out A, B, and C, and it's going to um, give me on the command line Cal was here. Now, here's the fun part. That last line also works. Square bracket A, comma B, comma C equals square bracket Cal was here. So you can use both shorthands together and um, you, instead of using list and array. Now, um, the keys that we learned about in the previous um, RFC, those can also be used in this shorthand. So you can see I have an array that has C, element C equals count, element B equals was, element A equals here. And I'm using the new list square bracket syntax, A equals A, B equals B, C equals C. And if I echo them all out, it'll say here was count because I um, swapped in the array definition, I swapped um, C and B. You can also use these, you can use this new syntax anywhere you use a list statement, and that includes in a for each statement. So I'm defining an array called points, and points has an inner uh, one element, and that one element is an array um, with two elements, X and Y, Cal and Evans. And I can drop 
uh, uh, that in a um, for each. So I can say for each points as x, y, just the, using the new list sy syntax with the keys, using both of them together. And I var dump x and y, and it's going to give me string cal evans. Okay, and then notice that inner, uh, that notice that points is an array that contains an array, and it would have to contain um, multiple arrays. So anywhere you can, you would normally use a list, you can use this new um, square bracket syntax. Again, we have Andrea Falls and Bob Weinard to thank. If you've got your Twitter client open, thank them at not AFJ or at B-W-O-E-B-I. And again, even if you're watching this on YouTube years later, please thank them for this. Um, they, they, these are the people that volunteer their time to build the stuff that makes um, it possible for us to build all the cool stuff in PHP. So we owe them at least thanks. If you ever meet them at a conference, buy them a beer. Finally, iterable. This RFC proposes a new pseudotype called iterable. Now, this is analogous to the pseudotype callable. Okay, callable represents two or three different things that are all callable, and um, this iterable would represent anything that is an iterable. Well, why is that important, Cal? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. First of all, this is by my friend and um, Day Camp for Developers past alumni speaker, Aaron Petrowski. Now, the status on this is past. I cannot confirm that it is actually in beta 2, although I think the code is in there. But the code that I'm going to show you um, wasn't actually run on my beta 2 um, Docker, so I, I can't confirm that 100%. Um, but uh, if you go to the RFC, it says voting, but it also says that the voting has closed and it passed overwhelmingly. I think there were like two, vote, two no votes, the rest of them passed. So why is this important? Well, over on the left-hand side, you'll see I've got a function called bar, and bar has a return type of iterable, and it returns an array. Now, when I used to give a PHP 7 talk, and we started talking about um, defining return, or return type declarations. I said return type declarations are a contract with your deity. They cannot be changed. It was that serious. And of course with PHP I followed that up with except this one case. And what we've got here is similar in that, uh, that one case. Notice I, it defines the return type is an iterable. Since array is an iterable, you can return a, an array. But you can return anything that implements iterable at that point. Now, on the um, other side, you, on the right-hand column, you'll see I've got a function foo, and foo takes as a parameter an iterable. We define it as an iterable. But we can also say, now that we know it's an iterable, will default it to an empty array just in case this is an optional parameter. And then of course we can drop it into a for each because um, any iterable any iterable can be dropped into a for each. Now, remember the contract with a deity. Well, here's where it gets a little wonky. See, in my interface example, I specify that the public function method can, returns an iterable. But in the implementation, I say, no, the return type is an array. And remember, you're not supposed to be able to swap that. But because array is an instance of an iterable, it'll allow you to swap it. And so we have narrowed it down. Now, on the um, parameter, the method parameter, you'll notice that in the interface, we say it has to be an array. But in the actual class, we, can, we say it's an iterable. We're actually widening the um, or broadening the uh, parameter to be any iterable iterable there and PHP will allow us to do it. To, it, it again it, it breaks the seven or it kind of stretches the seven O rules a little bit but um, if you look at it and you, you understand it it'll help you, um, you know, it, it'll start to make sense. We also get a new method called is iterable, and I've given you a couple examples here. Um, if you var dump is iterable with an array of one, two, three, of course that's going to give you true. If you bar, var dump an is iterable of a new array iterator with one, two, three, well, yeah, that's going to return true. If you var dump is iterable with just the integer one, well, of course not. That's not an iterable. 
But if your var dump is iterable new standard class, that's going to return a false, and this is going to trip some people up. Because we said earlier we could drop this in a for each. Well, you can drop a standard class in a for each, and it will iterate over the properties, but it, um, it is not considered an iterable, so is iterable will not return true. If your classes um, have to be iterable or um, have to be iterable and have to answer is iterable equals true, then you'll need to define a class instead of using a standard class and you'll need to implement the iterable um, iter interface. And again, please tweet out a big thank you to my friend Aaron Petrowski. He's Trowski2002. And thank him for his work on this and all of the work that he does on PHP. And that's it. Those are the three um, RFCs that we've covered. I'll be back next month with another, or another um, instance of RFCs from the future. Thanks for joining us for, the, for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit Joined In and leave Cal some feedback.